the Buffalo Bills. And go ahead and tell you, win total sits at 10.5 to go over is minus 160 to go under plus 130. Of course, again, you can find these odds over at betus.com to win the division. They are number one in this division, minus 150. They are the sizable favorite here. To win the AFC plus 500, that's number two. To win the playoff or to enter the playoffs, to make the playoffs, they are minus 400 for yes, plus 300 for no. They are projected favorites in 15 games. And their projected strength of schedule based on win totals, which of course you can find in Warren Sharp's book, number nine, the, nine, uh, the ninth toughest schedule in the NFL this year. Uh, the win total has gone over. For them, three of the last four years, they have covered against the spread over 60% in McDermott's three winning seasons there. I remember, he had a, a not-so-good season a couple of years ago, but he has he's had a winning season three out of four years now. It, the offense coordinator, Brian Dable, uh, the number two EPA offense in the NFL last season. That's pretty good. That's pretty good considering he had a quarterback that everybody thought couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. But, you know, you bring in stuff on digs, and you get that thing rolling, and all of a sudden that offense is almost unstoppable. Uh, they brought in Emmanuel Sanders and Matt Breida. Uh, I don't know if those two are... I think that they're valuable pieces on the back end of your of your depth chart, on the back you know uh, the back end of your uh, uh, roster or whatever, but uh, I don't know how much of a massive difference they're going to make. They brought basically everybody back on offense and defense. They did draft defensive ends Greg Russo and Carlos Basham. Uh, they, the defense was already pretty good. They ended the season number one in DVOA. They had almost no injury issues last year. Uh, they went 5-1 and one in one-score games last year. And uh, Josh Allen, I, my question for this season is, is he really as good as he was last year? Last year was a strange year all across the board. Was what we saw real with him, or was he more like what we've seen in the past I think that's going to be the biggest factor in whether or not they go over this 10 and a half. What, uh, what are your thoughts on the Bills? I got it over. I got the over with the Bills. I like the Bills. I think they're a really good football team. They're one of the two teams that I think have a chance to win this conference, um, to win this division. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of things that you read off stats for that scare me a little, okay? And that is, and, there, and, there, and there's things that you can't control, by the way. There's, and there are things that you absolutely cannot predict. Five and one in one score games, I assume there's going to be some regression there. Yes. Okay. Because I've watched football for a really long time. Now, does that mean they're going to end up a shit football team? No. No. That just means sometimes the ball five and yeah. one in football, it, it, you know, you get three and three. Finish, like, yeah, three and three, that's just two extra losses that you're not accounting for. And the other thing, this is the most important thing, they had virtually. No injury issues. To do that two years in a row, really, really tough. Man, just really tough. And depending on the pieces, now if you have a bunch of offensive linemen injuries, but they've built a lot of depth at the offensive line or defensive or something like that in non-key positions, then it might not affect the the, you know, it might, it might affect a game or two, which which would still have me being willing to go over. On, yes. their, on their 10 and a half number. All right. My, my, my fear is, is if it happens to key players, if it happens at key positions, heaven forbid something happened to Josh Allen or Diggs. I, now it's, now it's a big under and it's a, it's a big hole to climb out of. And it's, it's just a different deal. Um, I'm still going over. I've, I've got them 12 and five. That's I exactly a, what I've got them. It's a really going good over football well. team. Yeah. And, uh, and and I, I'm not afraid of going – I think it's going to take an injury, by the way. I think it would absolutely take I, an injury for them to not not go over. I think so as well. At Dable and McDermott, that combination has has been outstanding for three years now. Uh, they are really, really good. Yes. And, and while I'm curious which Josh Allen we're actually going to get, I do think that he has matured enough. He has advanced. He has developed enough. Well, I don't think Josh Allen's going to regress I, as a quarterback. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. I agree. I, he played so well last year. Like, we've also seen guys that regress a little bit because defense has figured them out. Right. Well, this the is what is how he played he last have year. An offense that has anybody to figure out. It's not like he. I guess he does run a lot, yeah. but he's done that for a while. The reason he's able to run, this is not a Carson Wentz situation where he got figured out. This is not a a a uh, hurt situation where 
he is very limited. Those guys are limited in what they can do in the passing game, which is why defensive scheming can figure those guys out. The reason he's able to run is because he has the strongest arm in the NFL. Yes. And and he gets to run because all of your DBs are 30 yards behind the line of scrimmage. And all he has to do is get by a linebacker, and he's got 15 yards he can run for before yeah. the, the DBs that were running backwards now have to start running forwards, okay? But it's, a, it's a schematic thing to where if, you, if you're not covering deep, he's going to take the top off the defense. If you do cover deep and he scrambles away, it's not for three yards or five yards and then he gives out a bounce or he gets tackled. It, it's for big gashing plays because of the style, of, because his ability to throw the football is that dangerous. Um, I think they're really good. I, th- I think they're really good. I, I don't think he's going to regress as a quarterback. The the five and one, one score games, that just doesn't stay steady year in, year out. It doesn't. It and, doesn't. and the same with injuries. The ball bounces a weird way all the time. Yes. And then and then the injury part. That scares the hell out of me. You got a team that was completely healthy an entire season and now they're going to try to go run it back with an extra game on top of it. It's worrisome. It's just, and, and I know there's no like, there's no science behind this. There's no lot. I just watch football for a really long time. Teams don't stay healthy two, three years in a row. They just don't. No, no, you're right about that. I, I have them going over as well. Let's move. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.